everyone this is your friend Jake and then in this tutorial video uh, I will discuss on how to use Flogarithm to check if the given age by our user is still considered as a minor or already an adult let us assume that the legal age is 18 years old so to give you an idea of the software that we will be using uh, it is an open source software it is free to download it is called Flogarithm it's a free application that lets you create fl uh, programs using flowcharts so you can concentrate on the logic of the program rather than the details of specific language it means guys that you can create a program without any or using any language like Java, C, C++ or Visual Basic this tool is intended for those who are new in computer programming if you want to be good in computer programming you have to be you have to understand and learn the basics and fundamentals so in schools particularly in colleges and universities they are teaching basic uh, concepts on how to create an algorithm so the codes and what is importantly is the flowchart so flowchart is very important on how the sequence of the flow of the programs will work so flowgarithm is very interactive create code from your flowchart there is also a function I will create a specific video on that so again this software is created at Sacramento State University so it is very user friendly you know? so before we dive in to the tutorial if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial share and don't forget to support my channel for by clicking the subscribe button thank you so much guys for your support and help i really appreciate your uh, continuous uh, support in watching my all my video tutorials so let's get started when you open your flogarithm this is the first thing that you can see on your screen so let's say click this in the uh, first and then we will declare a variable so the, the variable that we have is age and then we have only four data types integer real string and boolean so we will be using integer because we are asking the user to give an age click ok click again this one and then we will have an output here so double click double quotation age checker uh, using flow flogorithm this will be the title of our program enclosed with double quotation click ok next click we are we will ask the user to give the age no? double quotation what is your age question mark double quotation click again input double click and then we will be using variable age that we have previously initialized next we will use control statement if so in the if statement we have two choices only true or false so let us uh, go this one double click the if if age greater than or equal to 18 let us assume that the 18 is the legal age so if it is true click here we will have an output double click at the age of ampersand age years old you are already an adult that close click ok now we simply copy this output now 
copy and then paste here okay and then we modify double click at the edge of you are still uh, minor okay so we have done already uh, creating our flow chart using logarithm now the next step is very important let us check if our program works accordingly on its specification let us assume that the legal age is 18 now, years old. Especially here in the Philippines, the legal age is 18. In the US, I think 18 years old still. So, let us click this uh, play button to run. So, now, it is already running. Age checker using logarithm. What is your age? Let's say 13. Click enter button. At the age of 13 years old, you are still a minor. Let us click it again to run our program. Next, we have here 42. What is your age? At the age of 42 years old, you are already an adult. Let us run again. Let's say 14. You are still a minor at the age of 14 years old. Let's say you have a uh, age checker using logarithm. What is your age? 89. At the age of 89 years old, you are still you are already an adult so this is the end of our tutorial video guys i hope that you have learned on how to create a flow chart interactively using flogarithm before we end if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button click the notification bell so that you will be notified with my newly uploaded video select all share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorial tutorials rather this is your friend jake saying see you in the next video guys bye bye for now